This is Nina Curley from Wamna Media. Um, I'm here chatting with Lemsha Ozturk, the Chief Happiness Officer and Founder at 4129, a digital agency based in Turkey. Um, he's also an Endeavor Turkey entrepreneur. Lemsha, how are you? Hi, how are you? Okay, I'm great. How are you? Great. Um, so you've been actually building companies since you were 18. Uh, how have yeah, you seen true. the Turkish ecosystem evolve during that time? Uh, it, it was amazing. I mean, when I started back in '95, uh, you know, what we were doing with just websites. Now, you know, Turkey is a huge social media uh, country. We are like fourth or fifth in uh, Facebook, seventh in Twitter in terms of uh, number of users. So uh, now digital marketing is like the second second biggest uh, industry in Turkey. You now create digital communication strategy for large multinationals like Kraft, Microsoft, Nokia, Unilever. Yeah. How did you land your first big client? How did you guys find success? So basically, the very first client that I uh, pursued doing work with was one of the local uh, local ones. It's called Ülker. It's it's like Kraft of Turkey. And they're they're huge here, and so I went to I went into a presentation, uh, told them what they should do in terms of digital marketing, and I told them that they need a strategy, and not just projects, not just websites or games and stuff. And to my surprise, they liked it, you know. So because I wasn't talking about some uh, creative projects, I was talking about a strategy. And then they said, that's what we need, uh, and we were looking for an agency who can pull off this kind of strategy. Because uh, six years ago, in Turkey, the main problem with the digital agencies are they do websites and games, but they don't have the strategy capa capacity. So that was one of our strong houses, the strategy. And that's why we landed lots of clients very fast. How did you gain the knowledge to be advising these companies on their strategy? If you started at 18 um, and you were sort of building yeah. up your experience through having these companies, yeah, yeah. Where, where did you get your training um, in digital strategy? I mean, basically, I, I'm a self-educated guy, uh, so I read a lot. I mean, you know, I'm, a, I'm an information sponge, you know, so I buy books every month, like 10 books every month. I read all. I read lots of you know, slide share articles and stuff, and and also I was very lucky because uh, because of the networking, because of the you know connections and stuff, I met lots of great guys, you know, like Reid Hoffman, like Kevin Ryan, and uh, some agency guys as well. So within this uh, 18 years, I met uh, lots of great people who is who are good at their business and who are good at. Strategy. Can you just uh, describe for us what are the, one of the coolest projects that you've done? This is one of the projects that I'm most proud of. Uh, it's for a university in Turkey. Uh, they're very new. They're like one year, two years old university, and uh, they have this uh, great program. They have an entrepreneurship program. They have an incubation system. Uh, they have uh, ninety percent of scholarship uh, in in students, and so on. So. Uh, they are a great university, but the problem is the, uh, most of the students doesn't know them. So we come up with an idea saying that university is the thing uh, that uh, that change your life. Uh, we come up with an idea of a Facebook application uh, and the, and the competition. The idea of the Facebook application is, you know, we create a feature timeline. So you you come to the application. Uh, you choose a you choose a, let's say school. You want to be cook. You want to be a you know lawyer. You want to you want to be an engineer. Then it creates a simulation of your of your next five years in Facebook timeline. So you can see if you you can see that if you started this university, you can have this much of fun. You can have this kind of uh, lessons, uh, and we show every, uh, we show everything. With videos and photos and you know sounds and likes and you create a you create a, a video of your next five years, and then you publish those videos saying that this could be my next five year. Uh, help me get a scholarship from the school. So people spread the videos, and people with the uh, highest share invite to the school for an interview, like a real job interview, and if they pass the interview, they get a scholarship from the school. 
that was the project. It, it became incredibly successful. You've also founded a social gaming company and a social shopping startup. Can you just talk about how the gaming and e-commerce sectors are exploding in Turkey right now? And then also, how do you view the, the Arab market? It's been almost two years with Arcade Monk, and they're doing great. They have this bubble pirates game, which is going great, and they, they have it also in Arabic as well. And uh, they are working on new games as well. And it's, it's a great experimentation uh, in terms of, you know, learning the whole gaming and monetization thing. Because, you know, the most, uh, gaming is the, one of the most difficult uh, markets uh, to monetize. The second thing, e-commerce, is exploding in Turkey in so many different ways. We have verticals, we have private shopping, we have, you know... Uh, group buying, we have now subscription uh, websites and stuff. And I think one of the reasons uh, that e-commerce is you know, going this strong is that uh, for entrepreneurs and for investors, it's easier to uh, see the cashback. You know? uh, in terms of Arab world and the region, uh, S4129, we are really interested. Uh, I have been uh, you know, meeting with people for the last three years and about the uh, market and I'm seeing that it's very similar uh, to Turkey uh, in so many ways and it's a very similar culture there's a time let's say time lapse uh, between uh, between the market market uh, markets but I think uh, we will be investing into uh, the region uh, within the next year or so what's your single biggest uh, piece of advice for entrepreneurs starting up now self education is the key most of the people believe that they have to be educated in a school or something in order to be successful, which is totally wrong. Uh, nowadays, you can, you can get everything from Internet. You can learn. If you want to learn, you can learn lots of things from Internet. They have videos, they have you know, lessons, classes, everything, everything is online. And <clears throat> the good thing is you can meet with people from Twitter, Facebook, and LinkedIn. You can ask them. You can learn from them. Uh, you can get a, you know kind of online internship with those great people. So they, they couldn't lose hope because they don't have the culture to educate them or they don't have the schools to educate them. They just have to go online and look for the data that they are looking for. Thank you so much, Alamshan. Thanks for sharing your thoughts with us at WAMDA.